Don't just go down the road and even have trouble, and you've been wanting to, this is the right place to be because I can't find much things online about programming your robot. Specifically, I am using a VexIQ robot, um, which we will see in a sec after we uh, do write our first script, which will be a very simple script, and then we'll move on as this, ep this series continues. So, um, programming a robot is... It can be very complicated. The program I'm using is very, very, very easy. Um, but if you're using, if you're actually coding, um, which is very, very hard, um, it can be hard, but it's you know beyond you know beginner's level. Um, what you do is like if you were talking um, to someone, to a Spanish person in English, they wouldn't really understand you. But if you were talking to a Spanish person in Spanish, they would understand you. So, basically, if you're talking to your robot in, like, English, like, move forward, if you wrote in a script, it wouldn't work. You'd have to, you know, write a specific direction, like, specific coding language. So, let's get to the program. So, now we're here in the um, program that I use, which is EasyC version 5. Um, to buy a license, it's $85, which may seem like a lot, but it's well worth it. Um, Actually, I got a coupon because I did not get a controller battery. So, yeah, it works for me. Um, so, these are all the categories um, for your robot. Uh, first, you have to do configuration, which I already have configured. But what they have um, prefined selections here, if you click on prefined configurations. So, I have mine configured. Um, to configure it, when you do a new... Um, project it'll automatically open it up but if you want to know you just click the configuration tab um so that's how you do it and then you can name it um what you want and th these are the ports num port numbers so that is it for configuration right there um so now we're just going to click on the blocks of where the letters are to open up the um basically the little uh, programs so we're going to start. Now these two you don't really need to worry about unless you're getting really, really, really into the program. Um, but this is just an introduction and the basics. So first I'm going to go over all the um, blocks here so you understand what they are. So the first thing is if. If is an if statement like if the robot um, sees black, then you know you could do it to stop. Else if is... Um, Basically, uh, it'll do something else if it sees, you know, a black object. Else is it'll do something else. Um, repeat is you repeat the uh, the sequence in X amount of times. Forever is it goes on infinitely. While is like doing something while, you know, this is doing that. Wait is wait. Assignment is an algorithm. Break is breaking the script. Continue is continuing on. And comment is commenting and you can show that on the LCD screen of the robot. So I don't have a gyro sensor so can't go over this because I have no idea what this means. I do have a distance sensor so this is get distance, this is set maximum range. Get distance is it gets the distance of it. Set maximum range is it sets the maximum maximum range. And you could use an if statement on that. Um, color set mode, this is you set the variables to color variables. Color get object, it gets the color of the object. Color get grayscale, um, it gets the grayscale. Color get colors, it gets the color of the object. Color get hue, it gets the hue. And then there's a little LED on the color sensor that you can turn on and off. So now we're going to get to the bumper switch. This is kind of an if statement, like get bumper pressed to then, you know, do stuff. Um, so now we go to the touch LED. Um, touch LED get pressed, basically, um, it's saying if it gets pressed. Uh, turn LED on off, uh, turn it on and off. Set LED color, you set the color. Uh, set RGB, you set the red, green, blue of um, the color on it, and you can set the brightness of it too. So now we're going to LCD. Print string is very important if you want to print numbers on the screen. So print string is to like, you know, um, like maybe down here, get more degrees, and you want to put the print string there. Um, also, print line in clear LCD screen. Print string is print line. Print line is kind of print line. And clear LCD screen is clear. 
So now we're into the smart motors. Um, set motor power is you set the motor power. Set motor time is motor time. Motor encoder is um, encoder counts, which is like the robot's way of stuff. Rotations is rotations. Motor degrees is degrees of the um, motor that will be set at until it's changed. Get motor speed, you get it, and you use the print string too to um, put it uh, on the screen. Get motor encoder, get the encoders. Get rotations, get rotations. Get re de get motor degrees, you get the motor degrees and you use the print string. Motor reset encoder, you reset the uh, motor encoder. So that's basically it. Now these two, um, those are a lot more complicated. And I've experimented with them, but they're really complicated. So we're going to do the first thing that you'll probably always do. Um, and that will be to print string. So what we do is drag it into the line. Uh, we're going to print uh, first line of code ever. Probably you'll ever print. Hello, world. And then comment is like, you know, it doesn't affect your skip. It just says this will say hello world so that's just kind of like you know so you know what it is so right now uh, I'm gonna go get my robot and plug it in and yeah so I'm gonna go get my robot alright so now I have my robot and I'm gonna plug it in through the USB cable and also turn it on because that would be crucial in this. Because you don't want to have an off robot. So. Alright, now I have it plugged in. We're going to build and download it uh, to slot one. Um, it doesn't matter which slot you do. You know, it'll overwrite the copy of, you know, it. So it was successfully downloaded. So now we're gonna go switch over to the camera to watch so, it work. Now as we see, we have our uh, first slot, which I just named the lol, because that's like the only thing I could think of. So now we're going to click the check mark on my control panel um, to uh, run the program. And if we see, it says hello world right there. So we know the program worked. So now let's get on to making the robot move. So now that we have um, known that our script was successful, now we're going to go ahead and make the robot move. So we're just going to delete this. Um, so what we want to use is set motor time because I'm going to set the time the motor moves. Now, we're going to set the left motor. Now, this is crucial right here at 100 power. And make sure you pay attention for, um, oh yeah, this is the variable I made. We'll get into that later. For five seconds. Wait until finish. The first one will be false. And now this is even more crucial. You want to set the right motor at negative 100% power for five seconds. And this will be true. So the second one will always be true. Um, it doesn't matter if you do right or right first, but make sure if right motor is like opposite. So always remember that. Right motor is opposite. Um, so now we're going to build and download the program um, from our cable. So now we're going to go and record the robot moving on its own. It's first little baby steps. Yay. So now if we see, we're going to run the uh, first program. Alright, so we're just going to click start. So now that the robot will move forward forever, so let's just, I stopped the program there. So he will move forward, not forever though, for just for five seconds. So he will stop there because we did not put a forever loop in the script. Um, I'll try it again. So we're gonna, we're gonna click it again. So he does not go forever so he just does it for five seconds like we told him to um, so now let's work on making the robot turn so now we're gonna work on making the robot turn so we're just gonna delete these um, like we would 
Alright, so I'm going to use set mother rotations. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the, let me think about this. The left motor, if it went at 100 power for 0 0.75 rotations, that would give it a 45 degree angle. So then it would, it's going to turn right. So I'll make it a hundred, uh, there, not zero, hundred power, four. This is 45 degrees, a, um, 70, uh, 0 0.75 rotations. I'll make that false. So then I'm going to take the right motor at still a hundred power because it'll go backwards. So that makes it go, um, right, turn right for 0 0.75 so that plus that equals um 90 uh so make sure the second one's always true like we've doing, been doing so now i'm going to download it to my robot click yes and okay so now we're going to watch the robot hopefully so turn now we're going to make run the program so as we see we have uh, selected on one um I don't know why there's red lights here, but it's probably going to work. So, as you see, that is about a 90 degree angle. So, we'll try that again, and it turns right. So, this time. So, that's about 90 degrees. You can always tinker with it. But, um, now, we're going to make the robot, robot's arms move, um, work with angles. And, um, yeah, so let's get to that. So, now we're back in our program uh, after we made the robot turn. So, what we're going to work with is angles now. So, we're just going to delete these blocks because we don't need them anymore. So, we're going to go back to... Oh, these all closed on me. Why would they? They're mean. So, we're going to go back to smart motors. So, we're going to use set motor degrees which is basically the angle. So we're going to set the, let's go with the claw motor at 50 power for, let's say, 60 degrees. And we'll make that true because it's only one motor. Alright, so now we're going to go build and download it and test that out. So let me go get my robot and we're going to build and download the program. Alright, so I've got my robot now. So now we're going to plug the things in because there's lots of cables these days and nothing is wireless. And more things need to be wireless. Like stuff. Alright, so it's on, so now we're going to build and download into slot one, like we did before. Click OK, and yes. So, OK, so now let's go watch the robot uh, move its claw. So, if we watch the uh, claw, because we're only going to move the claw today, so if we watch it um, carefully when we start the program, we'll see that the claw will move. Um, so we're going to go ahead and click the check mark. So that's 60 degrees on the robot there. Um, so the claw moves, so we know how the program works. So now, let's go and get to um, maybe finding out the angles and degrees of what your robot is thinking. So, in the beginning when I told you that um, you can find out degrees uh, or anything in about the robot, uh, well, I'm going to show you how to do that now. So, what you have to do is, you see, you click on the X for settings, and you click on system info, and actually, no, not system, sorry, you click on device info, um, you click the check mark, so it shows you all the ports, and you can navigate through the ports with the arrows, um, so we'll go to the distance sensor, so if it sees, that changes, my hand's moving away from it, so, we can keep going to port 6 and it says, you know, it's the other motor. So if I just like spin spin it a little bit, 
it shows, you know, how many RPMs, how long it's gone. So it's really, really helpful if you can't, if you need to figure something out. So, now we are looking for the bad people in this place. So, this is a very complicated mission. Now, if we look over here, there they are, there they are, shh, 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 come back here, come back here, come here, shh, shh, shh. Okay, so we have to be very, very quiet on this. So I'm trying not to go too fast because I don't want them to hear me and I'm kind of loud today. So that's not a good thing. So shh, 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 quiet, 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 quiet. I gotta get my bearings now. Gotta get my bearings, gotta get my bearings. Okay, okay, and oh, oh, shh, 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 I think they see us. I think they see us. Shh, 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 shh. Okay, okay, close is clear. Yeah, come here, come here, come here. Okay, so now, now we're going. Okay, so now we're just like doing the hula. Because I can. Okay, so, so shh, everyone, quiet, 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 quiet. Okay, 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 okay. All right, all right, I think we're good. I think we're good. I don't think they're going to kill us or whatever they're going to do. See us. I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay, okay. So it's just going to slow down. Oh, oh, there they are. There they are. Oh, there they are. In plain view. In plain view. Okay, 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 okay. Back on me. Back on me. Okay, yeah, cameraman, I heard you to film me, not them. Okay, so, shh, 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 we gotta hide, we gotta hide. Can't let them see us. If they do, then they'll give away our identity. Shh, oh no, we're tipping. Okay, we're good, never mind. All right, shh, okay, 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 okay. Spybot is now in stealth mode, and he's now stealthing his way. Oh, what's that? <gasps> That's their business card. Oh, we're gonna take that. Okay. That's a good piece of evidence. If we can just, like, pick it up. Okay. So, so, hey, me! Oh, down here! Okay, thank you. Okay, so, <gasps> no. No. No! Dang it. She's not gonna let us pick it up. She's not gonna let us pick it up. Pick it up! You can do it! You can do it! See, I, uh, men I forgot to mention that, uh, shelter. <gasps> Get back down here! Thank you. I forgot to mention that, uh, it's very, 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 very hard to pick things up in, uh, stealth mode. So, uh, let's just crawl around here. Okay. 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 Shh. Okay. 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 Oh, look at that, there's a shoe. There's a shoe. There's the shoe. Oh man, that's a very, very, very important piece of evidence. Shh, 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 be quiet. There's the box, the box. It's the box. We've been looking for all our life. Well, oh, 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 oh no. Oh no, you're getting too close to them. No, 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 no. Okay, back up a little bit. Take down here. Thank you. Okay, okay. Woo, okay. Okay, just be very, very quiet. Shh. As silent as the night. And just like wiggle your arms. Like you just don't care. Bum bum ba dum bum ba bum. Okay. 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 Shh. Just gra grab the foot. 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 You can grab the foot. Grab the foot. Grab the foot. Grab the foot. You can do it. No, I can't do it. I can't do this. I can't do this. This is too stressful. This is way too stressful. I think. <gasps> oh no. Oh no, it's them. It's them. Shh, 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 shh. Oh no! He sees me! Run! 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 He sees me! No! No! I'm not here! Ah, help me! Someone! Help me! Why am I not moving? Is it me? Help! Someone! Help me! Please! Okay, okay, let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! We got this! We got this! We can run! Outrun them! Come on! Come on! Use your little wheels! Come on! We got this! Oh, this is a good hiding spot! Shh, 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 shh. They don't see us. Oh, go, 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 shh. They don't see us. 
They have no idea we're here. See, look, he couldn't find us. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, now we're just gonna continue our normal basis. Okay, so that's it for today's. Spy. Okay, so now we're gonna work I with the sensor I'm sensors after uh, Mr. Spybot went on a secret miss mission. Sadly, he didn't complete it though because um, it was a little scary for the little guy. So next time we'll see if he completes it. So anyways, now I'm gonna work with the color sensor. Um, so all we need is this. Um, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna uh, take these variables. I made a bunch of variables and I need to delete them because I was practicing this stuff. So we click OK. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna display it on the screen first and then we'll work with the color sensor. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set the variables to color. So we're gonna set the color sensor. Color sensor sorry to um we'll do grayscale. It doesn't matter. Click OK. So then what we're gonna do is we're going to make a variable. Um I'm having a brain fire right here. Okay, yeah. So we get color get object. So we color get object. Um, so the color sensor, we need to make a variable. So what we need to do is we make a variable. It doesn't matter if number or real. Um, we're just going to name this color. And then value zero. Um, so we're going to click OK. Um, now we're going to color get grayscale. So it gets it. Then we're going to set color sensor at color variable. So then we're going to use, um, where's the thing? So then we're going to use the print string. Um, so we're going to print color to LCD, then click OK. So now we're going to build and download the program. And where'd my Vex go? Oh, he's probably still downstairs spying. So I'm going to go get him. Okay, so now little Vex is plugged in. So now we're going to... Actually, hold on. Uh, color sensor. Port 2. Okay. Just check the ports. So now we're going to build down the program into slot 1. And... I'm going to click yes. So now we're going to watch the pro the, uh, the robot um, do the thing. So let's go watch him do that. So right now I am putting my black wallet in front of the sensor. And we're going to click the check mark to run the program. And it says zero. So that means the grayscale of it is zero. So let's try that again. Let's do it again. It says zero again, so that means the grayscale is zero of the wallet. So now let's get on to making the color sensor detect things and picking them up. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. But detect an object. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make it pick up a certain thing. And my certain thing is like this this, this black little box. So, um, and you'll see it once we do the program. So what we're going to do first is we're going to um, color get grayscale so it gets the grayscale of the object. Actually, we have to make a variable first. Um, so we have to make a variable. It doesn't matter which one. Um, I'm just going to name it color one. Value. Uh, make sure it's zero. And you click OK. Oh. I can't, you can't have spaces in your names. Forgot. Alright, so now we're going to get color get grayscale, which it gets the grayscale of the color sensor. So it's going to print that to color one, so that zero changes to, in my case, changes to zero, because this thing that they have is actually zero on the color grayscale. But if you had something that was like, you know, five, then, you know, you'd make it, um, you'd, you'd set the variable um, and its value would change to 5, then you click OK. Then we're going to use an if statement. So we put it here. So we're going to, if color 1, which is changed, equals um, 0 in my case, which is 
then I will make the claw motor claw motor um, at a hundred power for sixty degrees and then we make it true because we don't want it going on forever so now let's look and see if it works because I hope it works but you know if I heard this from my gym teacher F A I L which is fail means first attempt in learning so never give up on yourself so here's my object that I'm using just a little black thing so we're so right here is the color sensor and we're gonna put it right in front of the color sensor like that so what we're gonna see is we're gonna start the program actually we're gonna start it without it just to make sure it works so when you start it nothing happens but when we put it in front like that we start it and look the claws grabbed so we know it works so let me just show you Wait, what oh whoops don't want that alright so what's happening no I want that there we go alright so what's happening is I'm just going to click a check mark and it closes. okay so thank you for watching so no um, this first episode of programming a robot with Owen, who was me. Um, um, I was really inspired to do it, and I'd love if you know you guys watched it and liked it. And I'd, I'm hopefully coming up with a second episode. Um, I would like to give thanks to the Westford Cat for letting me do this, because this would not be possible without them. Also, thank you to Vex IQ for the robot. Um, this is not a sponsored video. Um, just to put that out there. But also thank you to EasyC version 5, the software, and to Wondershare Video Editor. They have great video editing products. Um, and, yeah. So I'd like to say thank you to all of those people. And they will be in the credits. So let's get to the credits and the end of the show, sadly. <laughs> so sad.